September the 13th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at the Gulf of Mexico this morning as the sun rises via satellite. And we have a 60 mile per hour tropical storm, Nicholas. It's much more organized. You don't see the storm scattered all over the entire Gulf itself. And it's uh, very close to shore around on Texas. Now, it's very well going to come in today. It is now at 60 miles an hour, but it's um, anticipated to be 70 miles per hour plus at impact. It's not that far from it right now, but you can see through the infrared, it's very well organized. In 60 mile per hour, 1,001 millibars. Here's the key. It went from 13 miles an hour forward speed to 5 miles an hour. What does that mean? It means more rain over the same areas. So it's moving half the speed, even less than half of the speed it was. Now, the system in the Atlantic, 50% chance of formation. And guys, notice that uh, that cone is trying to keep this thing offshore, just off Hatteras there. So, But that cone is not the area of the storm, but that it could possibly track anywhere within that area. So we got to be watching it. You've got three or four days now on this thing. Coming off the African coast, it says an 80% chance of development. Tropical wave is emerged off the west coast of Africa near the coast of Guinea and Sierra Leone. Environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for gradual development of this disturbance, and a tropical depression is likely to form by later this week. Now, here's our tracking. Current location is 7 a.m., and you're seeing that it is more than likely going to come ashore in central Texas. And that will occur today. Notice by 1 a.m. tonight, it's already ashore as a tropical storm. And then the curve now showing it, taking it over uh, Texas and central Louisiana and central Mississippi and southern Arkansas. If you, they can keep it off the coast of Louisiana, that would be great for the people that have uh, been in trouble there. But you've got a three to five foot storm surge predicted between Port O'Connor and San Luis Pass. That's three to five feet, two to four feet up around the Galveston area and uh, over to intercoastal city, Louisiana, one to three feet and two to four feet. Again, down from Corpus Christi, San Antonio Bay, uh, all of that area there. So you, you typical tropical storm type storm surges. Here's a system that's in the central Atlantic. Kind of got a Carolina watch on this thing. Again, it's, uh, it goes through the cycling phases right now. But it is predicted, 50% chance of getting its act together. So we're going to watch all three of these as, as long as we need to, guys. The system that's coming off of the African coast uh, has a straight line track. But notice right here, at 2 p.m., this thing's getting ready to come to shore. This is this afternoon at 70 miles an hour, just under a Cat 1 hurricane. And that's why you saw on that tracking map, under the blue tropical storm warnings, was a pink line that was a hurricane watch then slows down to 50 miles an hour on shore uh, by 2 a.m in the morning that's two hours after midnight tonight and then you can see the track as it slows down from there but the, i think the key thing is it's going to be at 70 miles an hour and at five miles an hour is not going to move very fast at all you can see all three of the uh, all well, two of the systems here the one in the uh, gulf and uh, showing the one in the very center of the image now that's coming off Sierra Leone. And the models are predicting a break in the high pressure. Notice that, and it's going to allow the storm to try to turn back into the North Atlantic, which would be good. Right now, we're kind of battered from one end to the other with these storms. But I wanted to update it again. Texas, you, you're you under the gun right now. The storm's very close to you. You're already starting to get the outer rain bands. By, by this afternoon, 70 mile per hour coming to shore very slowly. So be prepared for heavy rains lasting a long time. This is a heads up, guys. Be safe.